Okay guys, Private Jack here, and uh, we're going to talk about a couple of things in this particular tutorial. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is uh, Steam's new delivery system for TF2, and where you're going to have to look for the TF2 files and whatnot else. And we're going to try and fix some bugs up on uh, the MVM stuff, so man versus machine, maps and whatnot else. You know how you float around in a map and it kind of looks like this. Give it a couple of seconds to load and I'll just log off here while it loads. Well, maybe it's already there. Yeah, you get these wonderful black and purple checkered things all over the place. So, and if you move around in the map, come on, move around in the map, they pop up all over the place. Now, what's causing this is the fact that not all the materials are here, and there's particle systems that are missing as well. So we're going to cover how to get those particular things into Source Film Maker so that you can make pictures like this one carriers in the background there's none of that purple and black stuff floating around in the middle of the map okay so that being said we're going to take off and we're going to get this thing fixed so the first thing we're going to talk about is where did my tf2 game cache file go to well first off um Valve, in their infinite wisdom, uh, decided that they were going to change the delivery system for their product. And what they did is they created a new delivery system. Remember in Steam apps you used to be able to come in here and find uh, Team Fortress to all the game cache files and everything else well they are all gone now also if you look in your user um, name directory you won't find the TF directories there anymore so where did they go and how do I get them back well if you go into Steam apps and go to common and scroll down through the list of games that you've got from Steam you're going to find a new folder there for Team Fortress 2. Open that up. This is now where Team Fortress lives. It's their new delivery system and they've changed the game cache file from GCF to VPK. Same as with uh, Portal 2 uh, <laughs> Left for Dead, Left for Dead 2, those games are all VPKs. Now you're going to say, well, how can I get the model files and the texture files out of these? Well, basically it's the same thing as what you used to do with GCF uh, Escape. GCF Scape version 1.8.4 will open the VPK files. Now to get GC, uh, GCF Scape, what you do is you go on the internet and type in GCF Scape and go to a site called NIMS Tools. And the one that we want is version 1.8.4. There hasn't been a new issue put out since January of 2013 and this is the one that you want. Download the installer. Just click on the installer if you're running Windows of course 
and it will give you the ability to download it. Now I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And you'll see that I've already got it. I'll replace it so that everybody knows that, yeah, okay, he replaced it. And once you have that downloaded, all you have to do is double click on the exe file and install it. And it will install and be ready for you to use. We can come out of um, we can come out of uh, the Internet Explorer now. Double click on that. For those of you who heard the beep but uh, don't see anything on the screen, that's my user account control asking me if I want to allow this thing to go onto my hard drive. I'm going to say yes, and you'll come up with the GCF scape setup. Just follow it through, accept the agreements, read through the license. I always suggest you read through the license. This is the author's cover his butt type thing. Anything that happens, you're not gonna he's not gonna be responsible for. Okay? Now for those of you using 32 bit machines, this will come up C program files, NIMS tools, GCF scape. That's where you want it to go. 64-bit machines, C, Program Files, x86, NIM Tools, GCF Scape. Now, I'm not going to carry on with this because I've already got it installed. All you do is click Next, and it just pops up real quick. Once you have it loaded, start it. Now what you need to do is you need to point this, and I'm going to show you something here. Uh, where is it? I can run multiple instances of GCFscape, and I think it's four VPKs that we're going to go after. One, two, three, and four. Click on the little folder with the arrow on it. Point this thing to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and scroll down and pick up TF2 underscore miss underscore DIR. In this one, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to open up C, Program Files, x86 for us, 64-bit guy, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and in this one we're going to pick up the sounds, Miss, and in this one we're going to pick up C, Program Files, x86 for us, 64-bit guy, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, TF2, TF, sounds VO. That's the voiceovers. And in this particular one we are going to pick up the materials file. So click on the little arrow. C program files x86 for us 64-bit guys. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, <coughs> excuse me, Team Fortress, TF, TF2, Textures, DIR, VPK. Now, here comes the fun part. In this particular one here, the TF2 underscore Miss DIR, you're going to pick up Maps, Materials, and by it, it's just like using a file browser. If you hold down the Control key, select the first one, hold down the Control key, left click on Materials, Models, Particles, and that's all we need out of this one. Once those are selected, I'm going to right click on one of the ones that are highlighted and I'm going to hit Extract. And I'm going to point this to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, 
Source Film Maker, Game, TF. And I'm just going to select the TF folder because I want these things to fall under this particular folder and meld into here and hit OK. 33,402 files are going to be downloaded out of that one. Now on this one I'm going to right click on sound, extract, and I'm going to send it to the same folder, C, program files, x86 for us, Windows guys, 64-bit uh, uh, guys, Steam, Steam apps, common, source film maker, game, TF. Click OK. There's another 1788 files going in. On this one I'm going to right click on sound, extract, C, program files, x86 for our 64-bit guys, Steam, Steam apps, common, Source Filmmaker, Game, TF, click OK on that one. There's another 8,364 files. And on the materials, I'm going to click on materials, extract, uh, right click on materials, extract, C, program files, uh, x86 for our 64 bit guy, Steam, Steam apps, common, Source Filmmaker, game, TF, and I'm going to click OK on that. And there's another 9914 files going in. So, when this is all finished and done, I'll be back. Now yeah, we're still chugging along here. This one is finished. Now I'm still waiting for these ones to finish up and I'll be back when that happens. Okay, we've got these three complete. Just waiting for this one to finish up and that should be in a few couple of seconds here. Be back when that happens. Right, now that's all finished. We're finished with GCF Scape. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, why did I just do all that? Well, what you've done now is you've taken the newest uh, files available from your uh, game cache files and put them into Source Film Maker. So this gives you access to all this hats and all the special miscellaneous materials and, and models that uh, happen to have been released uh, since the last time TF2 updated for you. So um, we can get rid of these now. Now let's go back into Source Film Maker. Have a look. But I still have all these things. These purple and black blotched squares all over the place. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the console and we're going to type a command in the console. If you just have a quick look here. All these particles and everything else were missing from the scene here that I loaded up. So by taking everything out of the game cache files or the VPK files, I have now updated Source Film Maker to have all this stuff in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type a command. And the command is mat underscore reload all materials. Now this thing is going to whirl and twirl for a couple of minutes, and not a couple of minutes, for a few seconds. See, there's my little blue thing rolling around there. Uh, 
and get the old not responding. And uh oh, now we got a fatal error. Ooh, might be dangerous. Yep, it was. Okay, not a problem. I expected to have to restart Source Filmmaker anyway. So we're going to restart Source Filmmaker. Failed to start app already running. Got to wait for it to finish closing. Da, 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 da. Okay, should be there now. Relaunch it. Now what you see here is I have a command in my uh, game startup that allows me now to render movies at 1080p. So what it's telling me here is that this window is too small to display everything at 1080p. I just say OK and carry on. Not a problem. I'm going to open up my recent file. and look at that there's the carrier and if I grab the work camera and I start moving around the scene all those little purple and black boxes are gone now there might be a couple left around somewhere but as it stands right now, I don't see any. One thing that I haven't tried, and I think I just might try it now, is what happens if I go into game mode? Well, let's see what happens. There's the carrier. There's the uh, hologram. And I am not seeing any of those purple or black squares anywhere. And it looks like I have a perfectly running game here now. Okay, so that being said, I think I can sign off now. And with that, if you have any questions, well, come back into the Source Filmmaker discussion group and ask them there. It's better that you ask them there so that everybody learns from them, uh, from your questions. And thanks a lot for watching. Private Jack.